the cluster size of the water that you're ingesting, that you're drinking, matters. Matters greatly because the water that's clustered with the energy built up will not get inside of your cell. You could visualize it this way. You have a group of children holding hands and you're trying to get them to go through a single file through a gate in the fence. The only way this will happen is if they let go of one another and just go single file through. Likewise, the water that you just drank, it will have some molecules that are unattached, unclustered, and it will have a whole portion of it that are clusters too large to get inside your cell. The hydration, water has to come in, bringing the payload of nutrients, and then it needs to come out, hauling out the, the garbage, the sewage, the, the leftover, the metabolic waste that needs to come out of your cell. Only unclustered water will do that. So consider that. Without a large portion of the water that you're drinking in the unclustered state, you will be stagnant. You may be irrigating yourself, but you will not be hydrating yourself.